Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to tell you about the online counseling process for JMSPG 2022. Now this year, the university did counseling of few courses offline and the rest, they are doing it online. For Master of Physiotherapy, they are doing it online. So this video will be helpful for people who are applying for the counseling process this year or will apply in the upcoming years because the format almost remains the same for every year. This year, the counseling process is happening very late. It has started from 24th of September and will continue till 30th of September. This year, for MPT, the seat matrix has also changed. A good news for all the EWS candidates as they allotted one seat for them in NILD in MPT Ortho. This year, they also added the IPGMR college, which is a very renowned college with the NIRF rank in 21. So the total government seat has increased by 9. And it's a huge jump, right? And the biggest advantage of studying in IPGMR is the less fees and more stipend. Now, coming to the online counseling process. So you need to click on this website. Link will be provided in the description box also. After clicking here, you will get into the counseling website of WHS and from there, click on the login option and first you need to register yourself and for that, click on sign up now. Give all the credentials that will be required in the new applicant sign up process. Now, after doing that, you will get an confirmation OTP in your mail and your mobile. So keep that for reference and after doing this sign up, now you go to the login option and again give all the credentials. Now you can get the credentials from your rank card itself. So after that, just click on the login button and after login, you will see all the necessary documents in the website itself. And the process of choice filling is same as I mentioned in the Esbinitar process. So to see how to do choice filling, click on the I button. Now after the choice filling and successful payment of the counseling fees, just go to the my account section and from here in the left side, just click it here and you can see your acknowledgement slip and uh, click here to get your acknowledgement slip and take a printout of it. It will be needed further in your counseling process. Now let's see what are the documents that will be required in the counseling process verification. So the documents that will be required for verification for JMSPG counseling includes first is the admit card of JMSPG, second is the rank card of JMSPG, third is your age proof which may be your birth certificate or your 10th standard mark sheet, then is your address proof which is your other card, then your result and pass certificates Right? If you don't have the original PERS certificate, you can produce your provisional PERS certificate. Right? And finally, one copy of photograph. Now, remember, you have to bring one photocopy of all the documents along with these original documents. Okay, so that's all for this video. Now, if you do like this video, please don't forget to share and subscribe to my channel. And also hit the bell icon to get all the future updates. Right? Thank you so much. See you in the next video.